Hello, Internet. It's me, David. Um, I am out here. I am about to water the trees. This is not going to be an ASMR attempt because I've learned that in order to do something like that, it requires a lot more, uh, how do I say it, uh, technical expertise, which really just means you have to really... Uh, focus in on whatever sound or whatever visual that is going to be the stimuli for the person who's watching it and I was not I'm unable to do so because I don't have a mic I only have this 13 mini which I really want to get the yellow one now but I just wish they made it in a mini I don't like big phones anyways uh it only went up a degree since I made the last video it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit right now um, so I'm not going to water them a lot, a lot. I'm just going to give them just, you know, just enough water. So, and I felt like making this video, you know, just to go back to my roots, what I originally made, you know, the original context I, I started making. No pun intended there. So let's start here with, um, uh, Semilla. Semilla was named because in the very beginning, it was merely a seed with the roots. And obviously the roots are under the under the soil so you didn't see them so all you saw was the seed it took a little bit of time before its trunk which is just right there started coming out i see how she's doing she seems to be healthy new leaves were coming out the darker ones are the new ones and you see right there in the middle there's like the little tiny ones if it catches focus those are probably new ones coming out too i'll let me point it out to you right there all right so let's give this a little bad boy a little bit of water. Okay, here we got uh, 22nd. 22nd was named after the day that we planted her. I don't remember if it was the 22nd of November or October. Uh, this one, this is what I call the model tree <laughs> because it's just so beautiful. Oh, look what we got here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, if it does have new leaves coming out, actually, look at them. Look how tiny they are. Isn't that beautiful? But this tree is just lovely. Single trunk. It's not going to be an, an, a playful tree. So, because in order to climb it, you're going to need, like, uh, you know, maybe some boots with spikes on them and a, and a rope. All right, let's water this one now. Okay, here we have 7-Eleven. Um, originally it was 11 and I was changing its name every month based on its age. But after it turned 11 months old, I decided to say, hey, let me just name it 7-Eleven because I'm gonna forget keeping track of the months. Now, some of these, have, as you notice, are probably already ready to be planted on the ground. Right now, they're all in pots. But this one, look, right here, this is probably one trunk over here. This is probably another trunk. And over here, this is probably a third trunk. Um, oh, that leaf got eaten up a little bit, okay. And then down here, it's actually there's actually a fourth trunk. So yeah, look at that, three trunks and a fourth one down here in the middle. Now, if this one makes it to a ripe old age, this should be a fun tree to climb. Get a little water there. All right, and now let's go to Survivor. Survivor is what started this whole shenanigan. Um, Survivor was a learning experience. I didn't water it properly, so that's why. Uh, and I still have yet to trim one of the trunks that's dead. Uh, and the reason why I want to do that is because sometimes when you trim trees, they tend to like grow better. I should have checked to see if that's the case with baby trees, because this is still kind of like a baby tree. But here's uh, Survivor. And the reason why it's a survivor, yeah, it's got a new leaf coming up. It's still looking healthy. You know, I, I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm not a biologist. These trees, I don't like the color of them. But maybe that's because 
they get sun from you know from a different way or maybe this tree might not be able to make it who knows but we'll keep trying this is the part of the trunk that i cut i don't want to cut it all the way because eventually these trees get huge so if it gets huge someone can step on here and then climb up same thing with this even though this little trunk right here seems small it's dirty so someone could probably who weighs 150 or whatever 70 kilos will probably be able to still climb up to this once this tree becomes mature and uh you know lives to a ripe old age good willing and water this one All right, well, that's it. I will see you guys later when I do the second watering. And um, and I will probably splice the two videos together so that I don't just have a whole bunch of, like, small videos, I guess. I don't know. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a few. Hello, everybody. Uh, I think it's like 624 hours, I think, I, I, if I remember correctly. 75 degrees Fahrenheit, second watering of the day. Let's go. Semilla, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of water. Any second, how are you? I'm the boss. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Pretty little thing. Have your leaves grown since this morning? GT. All right, let's give you a little bit of water too. Well, look at you. Aren't you a show off for trunks? You just want to show off, don't you? All right. Sorry, 7-Eleven. I didn't say your name. Let's see. We got trunk number one. Trunk number two. Trunk number threes. And right down there, trunk number fours. A little bit of water. Okay. Now let's go to Survivor, who, I don't like how it's looking, but it's still standing. It's got its leaves, it's got new leaves coming out. So, and nature is resilient. Nature will be here even when we're gone. Once the world ends, it's only going to end as we know it. All right, there's Survivor. New leaves on top, yes. Look at you, look at the breeze going through you, look at you. All right, let's give you some water. I'm wondering if I should get like some soil with like nutrients or something, I don't know. I should like look up more information, try to make it more um, try to do better. Until then, enjoy the vids and enjoy being outdoors. <laughs> Those of you who have the time and choose not to be on the screen all the time, <laughs> or in front of the screen, I should say which I'm guilty of, but at the same time, not having a car helps. I get to, I get the privilege to walk wherever I, when I need to go get something, unless it's far, then I have to ask for a ride. Um, I had the privilege of the bike for two weeks. I've decided I'm gonna try to change the cassette sprocket on my own instead of taking it to the store. I just need to get the 
there's like a key, a little, like a certain key that uh, is supposed to fit onto it. Now, I don't know if mine is, there's, I think there's two kinds of cassette sprockets from the, the little bit of the video that I saw. I gotta find out which kind it is that I have and then go see a retailer that has one that's of good quality because again, the bike that I have is not, you know, like a Walmart bike. It's a, I'm sure when it retailed back in 2024, I mean 2004, I'm sure a retail part for like a good four or five hundred bucks, possibly. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Have a blessed one.